Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a gift guide for you for teenage tweeny girls. Um, if you have a niece, sister, cousin, whatever to buy for. Um, these are my recommendations for that sort of age group. I have some more affordable ones. I think the ones as well that I think are kind of cool and appropriate um, and some designer ones as well. So I'm gonna take you through them. Um, of course, it's Christmas time here in the UK, but I guess this is applicable throughout the year if you're looking for a gift for a teenage girl. If you're new here, then hello. Welcome to All About Perfumes. I have a whole series of Christmas videos like this, as well as hundreds of other videos on a whole ranges, as well as my blog, sokylunder.com, that has really detailed articles on perfumes. Um, I kind of aim to demystify whole ranges and everything. And as always, guys, in the description box, I'll leave links to where you can buy all the perfumes I mention um, for all different countries around the world. And down below as well is the link to where you can get my perfume, Empress, um, which launched this year. Cool, so let's get into the perfume. So I think, um, and this was a recommendation I had last year as well, the Ariana Grande perfumes are still very popular, very cool, they're best sellers. Um, you're looking maybe like 30 pounds or something. Um, the most famous one is Cloud, and this is probably the one that most teenage girls would want. Um, there's also other ones I have Thank You Next here. They're all quite sweet. Um, the one that's probably the lightest is called Thank You Next 2.0. It's a limited edition. It looks like this except it's purple. Um, but what I've seen this year is that Ariana Grande has some really cute, beautiful gift sets. They were really cute last year. They're even nicer this year. Um, they're only at some retailers, so I'll leave them linked down below. Um, but I think they would be a really cool gift. And they're relatively affordable, but they're like big and shiny and nice. And I think they're perfect for Christmas for that age group. If you know that they already have Cloud, then you could get one of the others, or there is a Cloud 2.0 um, limited edition, which is very similar to original Cloud. Um, it's just a darker blue bottle, so that could also be good as well. I have a whole article going through all the Ariana Grande perfumes and videos as well. So if you're looking for something for someone who perhaps um, might like a lighter perfume, or perhaps like a younger teenager, something they can wear to school and things like that, I have a few pretty affordable options for you. Um, so Versace Bright Crystal is actually one of my favourite perfumes. It's a really clean, fresh peony, quite light. This is the Eau de Toilette version. Um, comes in a really nice big shiny like crystally packaging and it's very similar to Mystique or Blooming Bouquet but you can get this maybe like 25, 30 pounds, 35 pounds, something like that. Similarly, um, Jimmy Choo Blossom is one of their lighter perfumes, very fresh, sweet pea, springy, you know, very innocent smelling. Now these you can often get um, on offer. I've seen these as low as like 25 pounds, um, but you know, Jimmy Choo is obviously like a really high-end brand and it probably looks like it costs more than it does if you can get it on offer. And it's pretty in pink, definitely for a sort of pink girl. I have a few other pink recommendations and then ones for non-pink gifts. <laughs> Super pink, Escada. Um, they have three perfumes now, Escada, that come in these heart-shaped bottles. This is the first one, Candy Love, which is a bit sweet, um, but there's two others as well that aren't quite as sweet. The most recent one, uh, Show Me Love, um, it had like a blueberry note, um, and again, these you can get for maybe like £30. I think they have gift sets as well, and they just look really cool. It's a very heavy bottle, stands up like that, you know, really iconic. If you want to be like a cool auntie, you know that they like, you know, pink heart type vibe. I think that's a really cute present. Um, if you have a little bit more budget, then um, the Angel Nova from Mugler, um, is super cute. So Original Angel is very heavy, praline and um, patchouli fragrance, but this pink Angel Nova is very different, has nothing in common with Original Angel. Instead, it's like a fresh lychee with a bit of rose. Um, there's an Eau de Toilette version, which is even fresher and it's a slightly lighter pink bottle. Um, this is obviously a mini, it's much bigger than this. And I think maybe you're looking about like 50 pounds for this, be more for a hundred mil, but I think it's very 
very, very cool, again, a cool gift. And, you know, these Angel Nova ones are definitely appropriate for a younger girl, um, whereas Angel, I'd say, is more for someone a bit older. Okay, so I think then, or sort of teenage girls, I know when I was a teenager, I really um, wasn't into like pink things and stuff, that looking for something perhaps a bit more alternative or something that like all their friends won't have. Um, so some options for you. So Diesel Loverdose, um, this is a perfume I actually bought in my, I think it came out in like my late teens, maybe early 20s. And obviously it's a really cool bottle. You know, if you know that they're into more purpley, darker vibes, this is that kind of perfume. It has a slightly licorice note to it. Um, and it's quite similar to YSL Black Opium. But I think it's pretty cool. It's quite, I don't know, unique, the bottle, right? And it's not really advertised that much these days. So it's someone who's like a teenager now probably might not even have heard of this. So it could be quite a unique thing that their friends won't have. Another option are the um, Roches fragrances, Mademoiselle Roches. Um, this is the Couture one that comes in this dark bottle with this bow. There are a couple of others that are lighter, like pinks and whites. Again, these are not sold in many places, but they are quite unique. They're good perfumes and they're also really affordable. Again, you can get these for maybe 25, 30 pounds. And again, it's something if, you know, unique that they probably won't have seen advertised and their friends won't have. Um, this one, the dark one, Mademoiselle Rush's Couture, is the heaviest. It's like a warm tonka bean, um, but the other ones are lighter, more floral. A brand that I really love and has, which is amazingly affordable as well, um, are the Ghost Fragrances. So they have a whole range that come in these moon-shaped bottles, and they also have their, um, dream fragrances this is for the new forever dream and this comes in like this sort of um, twinkly spacey vibe packaging um, you can get these at superdrug get these online um, you're talking maybe 20 pounds they have loads of gift sets as well um, so, and they're just a bit different bit unique the more recent releases aren't really available outside of the uk but some of the ones that have been around for a while like their um deep night which i really recommend which is a black colored moon um, you can get abroad, so I'll leave the links to where you can get it for the US and stuff, the ghost fragrances down below. Um, but these are very affordable and I just think they're cool and the gift sets are always really nice. I think I have some coming in the post, I think they have a gift set that has like this velvety stars on it, which I love. I'd love to do something like that for my perfume for Empress, maybe next year. I think the perfume that is um, heavily advertised and is probably gonna be one of the best sellers this year is a brand new Prada Paradox. Um, it comes in a 30 mil, this is the 30 mil size, and I think this is maybe 40 something pounds. Um, so if you're buying for someone who perhaps, you know, follows the latest trends, um, will want the sort of it perfume this year, I'm, I think this is the it perfume this Christmas. So if you want to, and get something that's really cool and on trend. Prada Paradox is probably the one that they will have all seen advertised and they'll want. It is quite a really cool, unique bottle. It's quite thick. The scent is like an ambery jasmine. It's very good for lasting. I'm really impressed with the lasting power. It's quite strong, so I'd say I wouldn't get this for like a 12 year old. I get it for some like a more middle to older teen, but it is really cool and I think everyone's gonna want this. By the way, the ghost perfumes are vegan and another vegan recommendation is the um, floral street perfumes, particularly this one called Wonderland Peony, which is my favorite. This is a niche um, British fragrance brand. They have recycled packaging. It's all um, quite unique. Um, and they're vegan, cruelty-free perfumes. They're sold worldwide now. I think they're in Sephora in the US. This one, Wonderland Peony, is my favorite. It's light, fresh, pretty, with a bit of sweetness. It's a bit like the Versace Bright Crystal. Pretty feminine and like very classy, very British. They're based in Floral Street in Covent Garden. And again, you're looking at maybe 40, 50 pounds for these sort of the smaller sizes. So it requires a little bit more budget. But if you really wanna get something vegan, cruelty-free, I think this or the ghost perfumes are a good option. I think Escada perfumes as well are 
vegan cruelty free. And then lastly, I did want to shout out the Coach fragrances. They have a brand new one called Wild Rose, which is quite a strong rose, really good for lasting. I've been really impressed with it. Um, but if you want to get something a bit lighter, a bit younger, they have a bunch of other versions. And um, my favorite is this one, Floral Blush. I want to show you the nice packaging and everything. And this one is like fresh, grapefruit, florals, I wear this a lot in the springtime, very feminine, very girly. So Floral Bush or the original Coach or the Coach Eau de Toilette, I think would be um, definitely appropriate for like a younger teen um, or someone that likes light fragrances and then perhaps an older teen, the new Wild Rose. These are gonna be more expensive, the Wild Rose, cause it's new, whereas the older Coach perfumes tend to be on discount a lot. Um, so you can get them at better value. And I haven't really seen this new one really on discount cause it came out this year. Cool, so those are my recommendations for the best gifts for teenage girls. Let me know um, what you'll be getting for any teenage girls you are buying for for Christmas or birthdays. Let me know down below in the comment what else you'd recommend as well. Um, like I said, they'll all be linked in the description box where you can get them. Uh, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching. Do give the video a thumbs up if it's been helpful. It really helps me. And do check to see if you're subscribed. But I will see you in the next video. Bye.